This week's county commission discussion centered around creative COVID-19 mitigation strategies like requiring masks for entry into county buildings and also for county funded events. But listen to how they voted. All in favor of the substitute motion, say aye. Aye. All opposed, nay. So the motion carries uh, five to two with uh, Commissioner Dozier and myself in dissent. Instead, commissioners voted to recommend masks instead of requiring them for entry into county facilities. But I'm disappointed with the results of tonight's meeting. Commissioner Kristen Dozier first proposed creative mitigation strategies last week during a special meeting on COVID. She joined this week's meeting from quarantine after recent COVID-19 exposure from a family member. Now she says, Looking at the metrics could really help us understand what happened in the last couple months. And importantly, from what I'm hearing from public health and hospital folks, make sure that we have the right policies in place if we see another surge starting to happen. Some community members say masking up should remain a personal choice. I'm here today to remind you that your policies violate the principles by which Americans operate. You will be met with non-compliance every step of the way. According to the Department of Health, the county's positivity rate slightly declined over the last measured week, currently standing at 10.7 percent with 1,662 confirmed cases. At Commissioner Dozier's request and with board consensus, health leaders will provide more in-depth data on the COVID-19 numbers and mitigation strategies during the county's next regularly scheduled meeting on October 12th. In Tallahassee, Cara Bailey, ABC 27.